hello guys welcome back again today i'm going to show you how to customize a switch button in general switch is another twisted button either true or false similar to a checkbox as you can see on the screen this is what we are going to build today anyway without any further ado let's jump into the under studio all right as you can see in this activity main.xml i have added a switch button only let me zoom in okay now we can see the button clearly so in order to customize a switch button we need to use two attributes one is track which is this curved rectangular shape and this circular shape is known as the thumb so we are not only going to change the color of this instead we are going to customize like the way we want it to so i have already designed all the required assets in adobe xd as you can see basically in android every view has two states either enabled or disabled but switch has two extra states checked or unchecked so if you see closely you will find we need to set four different backgrounds for four different states but if you have an app where you don't need to disable the button then you can ignore these two disabled states and you can play with the checked and unchecked states anyway all these four i'm going to set as a track background and this is for the thumb super simple so now i'm going to export all these items as an SVG format now I'm going to import them in this drivable folder so right click new vector asset now select local file and browse the SVG Then next, finish. Again, right click, new, vector asset, browse the SVG. Next, finish. Okay, I have added all the required graphic assets. So all I need to do is create a separate drawable file so that I can use these four graphics as a single one. So right click new drawable resource file. Let's name it um, BG track. Then as the root element use selector. Now to link these drivables with each state of the button, just use item tag like this, angle bracket, item, state checked, true, means checked state. Also I'll add another state, enabled, pass false, means disabled state. So for these two states, I'm going to set a specific drawable at drawable IC switch on disable. Okay, now I'm going to copy these lines. Control C, Control V. Now I'll just change this state checked to false. So if the button is unchecked and disabled, for this we will set another drivable, IC switch off disabled. Alright, basically these two items are only for the disabled state. So what if you don't need to disable the button? As I said earlier, you can simply ignore these two items if not necessary. 
anyway now we need to set up two more items for the enable state so i'll just copy these two items because i don't want to type the same script again and again i'll change this state enabled false to true also i will set a drawable ic switch on let's do the same thing with this item set it true ic switch off perfect okay one more thing i would like to say is you can even remove these two state enable attribute from these two items because this is the default state of any view in android right anyway now i'm going to set this bg track drawable using track attribute at drawable bg track c also i'll change this default thumb so thumb at drawable ic thumb and yes this is what i'm looking for but it's pretty small right so if you need to increase the size you can use scale x and scale y attribute scale x let's say 2 scale y 2 what it means is i'm just doubling up the size towards the x axis and y axis anyway now let's use mm, checked attribute and if i pass true you can see the button color is green because now it is in the enable state and in the checked state but now if i make it disable using enabled attribute and if i pass false you can see the gray color that is what i am using to represent the disable state so i hope now you can fully customize a switch button in android studio if you haven't done yet just give it a try and if there are any issues let me know in the comment section so thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me here on the daily coding tutorial channel if you feel this video helped you a little bit then hit the like button share with your friends and also do subscribe for more content thanks again for watching guys see you soon in the next one